Today on Saturday Sound Guy, I give you some tips on how to learn a new DAW without ripping out your hair. Hey Sound Guys and Girls, I'm Jimmy Hepworth, your Saturday Sound Guy. And whether you're a seasoned veteran or a beginner, odds are you're going to have to learn a new DAW or other piece of creative software sometime very soon. Starting this channel, I've had to learn several. Now, this can be a daunting and sometimes frustrating process. So I've put together some tips on how to learn a new DAW while maintaining your sanity. First, find yourself a project. Now, one of the reasons I call myself Saturday Sound Guy is because this sound thing is not my full-time gig. This is a part-time thing for me. My full-time job is actually an instructional designer and not a sound designer, which means I spend very little time at work in front of a DAW. Well, that recently changed when I was able to record the voiceover for an e-learning module that we were developing. Unfortunately for me, the DAW was Adobe Audition, a software I have zero experience with. While having some experience in audio was helpful, what was more helpful was simply having a project to work on, having an end in mind. Simply having some kind of project to work on keeps you motivated and keeps you working. This next tip is a simple one, but a very important one. Take breaks and take them often. Taking a break every 30 minutes or so while you're pushing through something you're unfamiliar with can be a huge help. Many of you do this already. Keeping a list of shortcut commands nearby can really help improve your workflow. If you have to switch between programs frequently, consider learning how to change those shortcuts to something that is more universal. Watch tutorials away from your computer. Now this might seem a little counterintuitive because for most people, myself included, the best way to learn is by doing, following click for click with a tutorial. This is a good practice, but one of the big hurdles that we have to get over when learning a new DAW is the vocabulary. And when we don't know the vocabulary, it's much harder to learn. So instead of watching Daredevil for the fourth time this year, pick some tutorials on YouTube and watch them and listen to the vocabulary that people are using. This way, when you go to search for something in the future, you know what to search for. One of the most important things you can do when you're stuck is ask someone for help. Now, after you've looked through the internet, scoured the forums and looked for a tutorial or two, swallow your pride and ask someone for help. Having a mentor that can give you assignments and can help you find and learn that vocabulary is going to make the process much easier. So those are my tips for learning a new DAW or other piece of creative software without ripping out your hair. If you want to learn more, I've written a blog post by the same name in the wave report. I'll leave a link in the description. So that's it for this episode. If you found that helpful, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Jimmy Hepworth, your Saturday Sound Guy. Thanks for watching. If you have a sound effect you'd like me to try, go ahead and leave me a note in the comments section down below.